Ever wondered why some people always feel compelled to get the last word in a conversation? Is it their secret superpower? Or are they just plain stubborn? You know, in the grand theatre of life, there are always those characters who seem to have a PhD in last wordology. They're like verbal ninjas, always ready to drop that one final comment. It's a universal struggle, the tug of war of words. Well, buckle up, because we're about to reveal the secret to winning this last word battle every single time. Step one, folks, become a master of timing, like that friend who always knows when to crack a joke at a funeral. Timing, my dear listeners, is the crux of having the last word. It's like waiting for that perfect moment when your opponent is halfway through a juicy sandwich. They're vulnerable, their mouth is full, and boom, you slide in your last word like a ninja in the night. Or consider this, you're mid-conversation, and you can see the other person's about to sneeze. You can sense it, the twitching of the nose, the watering of the eyes. You wait, you hold your breath, and right on cue, as they're about to unleash a mighty achoo, you drop your final word like a mic drop at a rap battle. Now, moving on to the next step, the art of brevity. Imagine your conversation partner has just finished a 20-minute monologue about their cousin's wedding in the Bahamas. They're out of breath, they've used all their words, and then you, with the precision of a word surgeon, deliver your three-word reply. Sounds pretty average. The surprise, the shock, the sheer brevity of it, it's the conversational equivalent of a checkmate. And remember folks, it's not about the quantity of words, it's about the quality, or in our case, the timing and brevity. So to sum it all up, if you're a budding last word warrior, remember the two golden rules, timing and brevity. It's like being an Olympic sprinter. You need to know when to bolt and when to pace yourself. You don't want to be the guy who jumps the gun and ends up with a false start, do you? Remember our friend from earlier? The chatty parrot? He thought he was winning by squawking the loudest and longest. But alas, his verbose monologues only led to people tuning him out faster than an out-of-tune radio. And what about the human dictionary we met? Spouting off fancy words like anti-disestablishmentarianism may sound impressive, but it's about as effective as using a toothpick to cut a steak. Brevity is the soul of wit, after all. So keep it short and sweet and time it just right. And there you have it, the secret recipe to always getting the last word. Now go out there and may the last word be with you.